good morning class 6 student this is our part 10th uh, video and this is the final lecture okay and after that we'll do the question answers so we are studying about the separation of components of mixture we have already learned all these things which you are seeing in the screen solid solid mixture we have already learned all these things right so we have to start with solid liquid mixture in the solid liquid mixture as you see in the screen we have to learn sedimentation and decantation then loading then filtration then centrifugation and then evaporation after that two more that is crystallization and distillation last one is separating funnel okay so let's start from the beginning that we have to learn sedimentation and decantation okay in this sedimentation and decantation two words are there sedimentation and decantation so let's study first the sedimentation sedimentation means what will happen there in sedimentation the solid matters which settles down the solid matter which settles down at the bottom of liquid is called sediment what will happen here we will have as you see in the picture figure number 2.11 here we will have mixture of sand and water so what we will take we will take a beaker and in that we will have a sand and water now understand what is sedimentation and decantation what will happen if we will leave that mixture of sand and water we'll stir it sand and mat water, uh, water first and then we will leave it undisturbed for a uh, 10 minutes you can say then what will happen the solid matters will settle down the solid matters will settle down at the bottom of the liquid that is called sediment okay and that deposition what will happen you um, another word is there deposition of that solid matter that process deposition of solid matter at the bottom of liquid is called sedimentation okay sediment you understood sediment means what will happen if you will take the mixture of sand and water then you will leave it for 10 minutes undisturbed then you will see that sand will settle down at the bottom of the beaker so what is that it is sediment so that process by which solid will settle down at the bottom is sedimentation right the solid particles will settle down that is sediment and that process by which or you can say deposition of it by which solid matter will settle down at the bottom of liquid is called sedimentation okay so you understood one term sedimentation then let's come to decantation now as the solid settle down what you will do slowly very very slowly without disturbing the solid matter you will pour the liquid into another container see the diagrams uh, a is mixture then b is sedimentation then c is decantation so what's happening here very very slowly even he has taken one glass rod okay with a glass rod very very slowly water he is pouring so you can say the pouring out of liquid from vessel here in the second that is sedimentation right so what you will do that liquid you will pour out in some other container and solid will be in the previous container so the pouring out of liquid from one vessel to another vessel 
without disturbing the sediment is decantation i hope you are getting if not then see it pause it and then once again you see okay so this is about sedimentation and decantation so next let's move to the loading second topic is loading so we have learned this the solid which settle down is sediment the solid which settle down at the bottom of the glass is sedimentation so what will happen in loading the process is used to speed up the sedimentation that sediment i told you the solid particles so there is some process by which we can speed up the sedimentation process so what we will do we will take one alum right alum is in hindi it is said as vitkiri in english it is alum okay so what we will do when the mud you see the diagram of figure 2.12 muddy water will be there muddy water means what that water will be dirty right you can see the small 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 particles in it then what will happen you will put a alum a piece of alum in it as shown in the b diagram b you will see a alum in it okay as you will keep a alum in it what will happen the clay particles will settle down but that not speed the normal speed as we have learned sediment that we will leave it undisturbed for a 10 minutes 15 minutes or 1 hour it's not that we when we have kept that alum then what will happen that speed will be boost up the speed will increase and then the clay particles will settle down along with the alum okay so that is what it is loading loading is what it is a process which is a speed which is used to speed up the sedimentation process okay then second one the filtration then in filtration what will happen see here the next page also in the filtration you can see figure 2.13 in the filtration as your mother is use, uh, using the stainer you can say stainer in hindi is chai channi so stainer she is using stainer to stain the tea and what happens there the tea, tea leaves remains above the stainer and the clear tea comes in the cup okay so this is the same way right so this is with the help of stainer we are doing and and we have to learn about filtration right so the filtration is what it is similar to the process that's why i made you understood the about the kitchen and about the filtering tea okay the method will be more or less similar right but only we are learning the chemistry so something chemistry words we will use here right student so what will happen here mm, that is the process of removing insoluble solid from the liquid by using a filter paper so here filtration is there so what we will do we will use filter paper now what is filter paper so filter paper you can see it is written here a filter paper uh, in the let us do it filter paper you can see folding of filter paper has been shown so how to make it a uh, filter paper right so filter paper is something uh, having a very very small holes in it millions of holes in it but it is impossible to see with the uh, with the eyes with the normal eyes right so with that holes what happens liquid pass out and the solid ma uh, materials remains above that filter paper and that materials remains above the filter paper as in the case of 
stainer. We are using the tea. The same way, the solid particles remains in the filter paper and the liquid pass out. So that is the method of filtration and we get the clear liquid. Okay, understood? So this is the method of filtration. When you, uh, it will be said to explain it, obviously you can write the details. What is filtration? What is filter paper? And then you will draw the diagram. Okay, student. The next is centrifugation. In centrifugation, actually what we do in centrifugation and why we use centrifugation? See, centrifugation, with the help of centrifugation, this method is used in our washing machine. With the help of this centrifugation method, our clothes get squeezed out. Our clothes get dry. Okay, When we wash, then squeeze out our water from our wet cloths. So this process is similar to centrifugation. You can see one more words that uh, butter, butter is taken out from the milk. Butter is taken out from the milk with the help of this method only, centrifugation. Okay. So what happens in this method? So we can say centrifugation is a method. Centrifugation is a method for separating suspended particle of a substance from liquid in which mixture is rotated with a high speed. So you must have seen how with a round, 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 with a very high speed our washing machines move. And it dry our clothes. Not totally, at least 50% it squeeze out the waters and it dry. Isn't it? So with the high speed, with the thing is here, with the high speed, what happened? With the high speed it rotate and it helps out in squeezing the water. So this you can say that is centrifugation. It's written in your book also. You can see this page, page number 40, line number 2. Centrifugation is a method for separating the suspended particles of a substance from a liquid in which mixture is rotated at a high speed in a centrifuge. Okay, students? So, remember it. This is the method of separation. Now, move to the evaporation. You can see the diagram here, figure 2.19, salt obtained from sea water by evaporation. Salt obtained from sea water by evaporation. So what they do, they keep the salt there. Obviously salt will not come from sea directly. So what they do, they keep the water, with the, uh, make some dig, lot of digs you can see in the diagram. Lot of digs are there and they keep the water in it. What happens then? That waters evaporate and the salt remains down. Right? So that is the method of evaporation. So if I say in, in a simple word, what is evaporation? Then it is a conversion of liquid into vapor or gas and solid particles remain. So what happens? Example is that if you take a common salt and water, you will dissolve in it. Right? Common salt dissolved in water can be separated by the process of evaporation. Okay, student. So what will happen here? That water will evaporate and the residue which we left is salt. Okay, student. So, this is the method of separation of one more method. What is that? It is evaporation. By this method, we can separate the solid and liquid. One is solid, which is salt. Another one is liquid, which is water. When we will keep in the dry place or you can say the in the sun sunny area then what will happen slowly and gradually the water will evaporate and the salt will remain there with the processing we that the sea 
water is converting into salt and then it is coming in our house not directly but some process are also in between so you don't have to learn that only you have to learn what is evaporation and that is a separation of mixture okay next is about crystallization so before that let's move to the easiest one then we'll go to that separating funnel that we are learning is about separating funnel so what happened in the separating funnel it is used to separate two or more immiscible liquids in separating funnel it is used to separate two or more immiscible liquids immiscible liquids means which will um, i have taught you in class 5 right the previous classes also you must have learned in 4 in 3 what is that so it is immiscible means which will not mix with each other understood so we will have a water you can see in the diagram figure 2.21 separating funnel is there then water will be there then oil will be there right water oil so water is heavier it will remain down oil is lighter it will be above it and there is a stop cock you see stop cock is there in the separating funnel that you will lose the separating funnel and drop by drop drop by drop drop by drop all the waters will come that clear waters will come in another container and then you will close that stop cock okay so that is a method of separation of solid and liquid and liquid right liquid both are liquid here water is also liquid and oil is also liquid so this method is known as separating funnel so once again i am repeating separating funnel is used to separate two or more immiscible liquid that have different density for example we have seen water and oil right i hope you understood it's very very easy okay so now move to this we will learn about distillation and crystallization so first we will learn about the distillation the distillation is distillation you see its diagram is also given figure 2.20 distillation is a process of heating water to water vapor it it includes two method what the two methods in include that distillation is a process of heating water to water vapor and then cooling the hot water vapor to get back liquid again so this is the actually very costly method distillation is very costly method so what happens we heat the continuously we heat the water and then we collect that vapor we heat the waters we boil it and then what happen it get into another container as seen in the diagram we are heating with the burner and that it evaporates and then it goes into another container right and then what happens here it condenses condensations is done condensation means cooling first we will heat and then it will convert into steam and then we will cool it and then again we will convert it into water so we can say distillation is a process of heating water to water vapor and then cooling the hot water once again to get back the liquid so two methods are involved here in distillation one we will heat and it will convert it into steam and then we will again that steam will cooled and then it converted into liquid right so this is the method of distillation distillation the distilled water we use in our medicine even lot of industries also distillation method is used but one thing you know that it is very costly method of separation of liquid and 
liquid right then uh, here some solid materials are also available so we can say solid uh, solid liquid because solid will be also here like suppose of salt and waters you are uh, separating with a method of distillation then what will happen that water will evaporate first that water you will boil continuously you will boil and that water will evaporate and that water will is a steam now water and then steam and then steam you will collect so how difficult it is that steam you will collect and then you will condensation you will do you will cool that steam and then again you will make water right so this that is why it is very purest but one thing it is very pure water that is why we are using in the medicine also distilled water we are using in medicine also okay students the uh, videos is getting longer so i hope you understood so the next point la last is crystallization crystallization means crystals you know that so the process of cooling a hot concentrated solution of a substance to obtain crystal is called crystallization okay crystallization is a method it is a process by which you can cool a hot concentrated solution of a substance to obtain crystal as name specify crystallization so crystals will be there here like pure sugar can be separated from solution by crystallization method so example is pure sugar can be obtained understood still then uh, these are the things one homework i am giving you that you will do right so student this is the homework three questions only i am giving write the names of separation of solid liquid mixture method so the names only you don't have to explain it here you have to write only the sol how can you separate the solid liquid mixture what is the method of it okay you have to write the names names only in question number 1 then question number 2 you have to write what is sedimentation and decantation method you have to draw the diagram also explain diagram then third one describe filtration method with example okay student thank you